everybody and welcome to exercise 13-6. Uh, this is uh, extended warranties. So right over here, Dos Passos company sells television on average price of 900 and also offers to each customer a separate three-year contract for $90 that requires the company to perform periodic services and replace defective parts. During 2020, the company sold 300 televisions and 270 warranty contracts for cash. It estimates the three-year warranty cost is 20 for parts and 40 for labor and accounts for the warranties separately. So assume all sales occurred on December 31st, straight line recognition of warranty revenue occurs. So in 2020, what we're gonna do here is we're gonna be receiving cash and we're gonna sell 300 televisions for 900 bucks. And at the same time, we're also receiving cash of 270 warranties at $90 per, excuse me, 270 warranties at $90 per warranty. Or for 24,300. And this is going to be unearned warranty revenue for 24,300. So that's how we're going to go through and record that liability. So uh, that's what I would be recording in 2020. What liability to these transactions would appear on the balance sheet and how would it be classified? So over here, the way that it would be classified would be if we're assuming straight line recognition of the warranty revenues occur, this is gonna be over a three year period. So my 2020 current, if this is gonna be over a three year period, this is gonna be 8,100 a year. And then the non-current portion would be the difference of 24, three and 8,100. So again, a current liability is something I'm gonna to have to satisfy within the current period. Non-current is beyond a year. And as I had mentioned before in the previous video, that can be very, very important to a company, um, especially uh, with regards to uh, as we are if they're going through and computing a certain type of ratio. So for my 2020 liability, it's gonna be 24,000. Okay. So I also would need descriptions and the like, but there you go. Okay, so that's 2020. Okay, so in 2021, Dos Passos incurred actual costs relative to the 2020 television warranty sales of 2000 for parts and $4,000 for labor. So record the necessary journal entries in 2021 for the television warranties. Okay, so in 2021, I'm gonna have two different things going on. The first thing is I'm gonna recognize warranty revenue and the amount of 8,100 because that's what I'm gonna be recognizing every single year for three years. The second thing is I'm gonna have a warranty expense of 2000 for the parts and then $4,000 for the labor. So I would be crediting inventory parts for 2000 and then I would be also be crediting uh, salaries and wages payable for 4,000. So literally, instead of going salaries and wages expense, I'd be recording it as warranty expense. And, you know, depending on if I had, if I bought the parts, I debited inventory parts, I credited cash. And now that I'm using the parts, I wanna make sure that I'm recording it to warranty expense, which essentially is gonna be going through and offsetting uh, these costs over here. And this would of course be in 2021. Okay, so, uh, record any journal entries in 2021. So we've done that. What amounts relative to the 2021, 2020 television warranties would it be appearing on the balance sheet? So in my 2021 balance sheet, what we're gonna notice here is that 
my my ending unearned warranty revenue as of December 31st, 2020 was 24,300. So that's now gonna become the beginning balance on January 1st, 2021. And I went through here and recognized 8,100. So my ending balance here is 16,2. My current is what I'm gonna be recognizing in 2022. And then my obligation beyond that year is going to be over here in a future period or in 2023. So my balance sheet That's what that would go through and look like. So that is problem 13.6. Look forward to seeing you on the next one.